Hi. Hi, I'm back. I'll be reading some more from the Bible. And I am using the reading plan from the Daily Audio Bible app. And, I'll, and I will be reading for February 12th, 2021. I will be reading Exodus chapter 34, verse 1, to Exodus chapter 35, verse 9. Verse 9, Exodus chapter 34. The New Stone Tablets, Exodus chapter 34. The Lord said to Moses, Chisel out two stone tablets like the, like the first one, and I will write on them the words that were on the first tablets which you broke. Be ready in the morning, and then come up, come up on, on Mount Sinai. Present yourself to me there on top of the mountain. No one is. To, 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 to come with you or be or be seen anywhere on the mountain. Not even the flocks and herds may graze in front of the mountain. At the mountain. So Moses chiseled out two stone tablets like the first ones and went and went up and went up Mount Sinai early in the morning as the Lord had commanded him. And he carried the two stone tablets in his hands. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and stood there with him, and, 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 and proclaimed his name, the Lord. And he passed in front of Moses, proclaiming, The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the, 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 the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness, maintaining love to thousands, and forgiving wickedness, rebellion, and sin. Yet he does not leave the guilty unpunished. He punishes the children and their, and their children for the sin of, of the parents to the third and fourth generation. Moses bowed to the ground at once and worshiped the Lord, he said, If I have, if I have found, found favor in your eyes, then let the Lord go with us, although this is, this is a, a stiff-necked people. Forgive our wickedness and our sin, and take us as your inheritance. And the Lord said, I am making a covenant with you. Before all your people, I will do wonders never before done in any nation in all the world. The people you live among, you live among, will see, will see how awesome is the work that I, the Lord, will do for you. Obey what I, 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 I command you today. I will drive out before, before you the Amorites, Canaanites, H-I-T-T-I-T-E-S, P-E-R-I-Z-Z-I-T-E-S, H-I-V-I-T-E-S, and and J E B U S I T E S. Be careful not to make a treaty with those who live in the land where you are going, or they will be a snare among you. Break down the altars, smash the sacred stones, and cut down their A S H E R A H poles. Do not worship any other god, for the Lord whose name is jealous is a jealous God. Be careful not to make a treaty with those who live in the land for when, for when they, for when they prostitute themselves to their gods and sacrifice to them, they will, they will invite you and you will eat, and you will eat, eat their sacrifices. And when you choose some, uh, other daughters as wives for your for your sons, and those daughters prostitute themselves to their to their gods. They they will lead your sons to do to do the same. Do not make any idols. 
Celebrate the festival of unleavened bread. For seven days eat bread made without yeast, as I commanded you. Do this at the appointed time in the month of Aviv. For in for in that month you came out of Egypt. The first offspring of every womb belongs to me, including all the other firstborn males of of. Your livestock, whether from herd or flock, redeem the firstborn donkey with a with a lamb. But if you but if you do not do not redeem it, break its neck. Redeem all your firstborn sons. No one is two 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 is two. A pair before me, empty-handed. Six days you shall labor, but on the the seventh day. You shall rest, even do even during the plowing season and harvest. You must rest. You must rest. You must rest. Celebrate the festival of weeks with the first fruits of the wheat harvest and the and the and the festival. Of in gathering at the turn of the year, three times a year, all your all your men are two, 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 or two, a pair before the sovereign Lord, the God of Israel. I will drive out nations before you, before you, and and, and enlarge your territory, and no one will, will covet your land when you go when you go up three times each year to appear. Before the Lord your God, your God, do not offer the blood of a sacrifice to me, along with, along with anything containing yeast, and do not let let, and do not let any of the sacrifice from the Passover festival remain until morning. Until morning, bring the best of the first fruits of your soil to the house of the Lord your God. Do not cook a young goat in its mother's milk. Then the Lord said to Moses, "Write down these words, for in for in accordance with with these words I have made a covenant with you and with Israel." Moses was there with the, with the Lord forty days and forty nights. Without eating bread or drinking water, and he and he wrote on the on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments, the radiant face of Moses, when Moses came down from Mount from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the covenant law in his hands. He was not aware that his face was radiant, because he had he had spoken with the Lord when Aaron and all the Israelites saw Moses. His face was radiant, and they and they were afraid to come near him. But Moses called to them. So Aaron and all and all the leaders of the of the of the community came back to him, and he spoke to them. Afterward, all the other, all the Israelites came near him, and he gave them all all the commands the Lord had given him on Mount Sinai. When Mo when Moses finished speaking to them, he put a veil over his face. But whenever he entered the Lord's presence to speak with him, he removed the veil until he until he came out. And when he came out and told the Israelites. What he had, what he had, been been commanded. They saw that his face was radiant. Then Moses would put the veil back over, over, over his face until he, until he went in to speak with the Lord, with the Lord. Tabernacle construction, Sabbath regulations. 
Exodus chapter thirty-five. Moses assembled the whole Israelite community, and said to them, "These are these are the things the Lord has commanded you to do for six days. For six days' work is to be done, but the seventh day shall be your holy day, a day, a Sabbath rest to the Lord. Whoever does any work on it is to is to be." Put to death. Do not light a fire in any of your dwellings on the Sabbath day. Materials for the tabernacle. Moses said to the whole Israelite community, "This is what the Lord has commanded. From what you have, take an offering for the Lord. Everyone who is who is willing is to bring two." The Lord, an offering of gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and 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 fine linen, goat hair, wine skins dyed red, and another type of durable leather, a c a c i a wood, olive oil for the light, spices for the for for the anointing oil, and for the fragrant incense, and onyx stones, and and. Other gems to be mounted on the E P H O D and press peace and press peace. Okay, Matthew chapter twenty-seven, verses fifteen to thirty-one. Matthew chapter twenty-seven. Chapter verse fifteen. Pilate hands Jesus over to be crucified. Mark chapter fifteen verses six to fifteen. Luke chapter twenty three verses thirteen to twenty five. John chapter eighteen verse thirty nine to John chapter nineteen verse sixteen. Verse sixteen. Now it was the governor's custom. At the festival, to release a prisoner chosen by the by the crowd. At that time, they had a well-known prisoner, whose name whose name was Jesus, B A R A B B A S. So when the crowd had gathered, Pilate asked them, "Which one do you do you want me to release to you, Jesus, B A R A B B A S?" Or Jesus, who is called the Messiah, for we knew it was out a self a self interest that they had handed Jesus over to him. While Pilate was sitting on the judge seat, his wife sent him this message: "Don't have anything to do with that, with that innocent man, for I have suffered a great deal today in a dream because of him." But the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for, to ask for B A R A B B A S, and to have Jesus executed. Which of the which of the which of the two do you want me to release to you as the governor? B A B A R A B B A S. They answered, What shall I do then with Jesus, who is called? The Messiah, Pilate asked. They all answered, "Crucify him." Why? What crime has he committed? Asked Pilate. But they shouted all the all the louder, "Crucify him!" But when Pilate saw that he was getting nowhere, but that, but that, but that, but that instead, an uproar was starting. He took water and washed his hands in front of the crowd. I am innocent. Of、uh, this man, of、uh, this man's blood, he said, "It is your responsibility." Responsibility. All the people answered, "His blood is on us and on our children." Then he released B A R A B B A S to them, but he had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified.
to be crucified. The, se the seven last words of Jesus on the cross, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Luke chapter 23, verse 34. Truly I tell you today, you will be with me in paradise. Luke chapter 23, verse 43. Speaking to Mary and John, woman, here is, here is, here is your son, here is your mother. John chapter, chapter 19, verses 26 and 27. My God, my God, why have you, you? Forsaken me, Matthew chapter 27, verse 46, Mark chapter 15, verse 34. I am thirsty, John chapter 19, verse 28. It is finished, John chapter 19, verse 30. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Luke chapter 23, verse 46. The statements that Jesus made from the cross have been, have been treasured by all who have followed him as Lord. They demonstrate both his humility and his divinity. They also capture the last moments of all, of all, of all that, the, that Jesus went through to gain our forgiveness. Roman soldiers mock Jesus, Mark chapter 15. Verses 16 to 20. To 20. Then the governor soldiers took Jesus into the, into the P R A E T O R I U M and gathered the whole company of soldiers around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him and, and, and then twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on his head. They put a staff in his in his right hand. Then they knelt in front of him and mocked him. Hail, King of the Jews, they said. They spit on him and took the staff and struck him on the head again and again. After they had had had, had mocked him, they took off the rope and put his and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. To crucify him. To crucify him. Psalm chapter 33, verses 12 to 22. Psalm chapter 33. Chapter 33, verses, verses 12 to 22, to 22, 12. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he chose for his inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down and sees all mankind. From his dwelling place he watches all who live on earth. He who forms the hearts of all, who considers everything they do. No king is saved by the size of his army. No warrior escapes by his great strength. A horse is a vain hope for deliverance. Despite all its great strength, it, it cannot save. But the eyes of the Lord are, but the eyes of the Lord are on, are on those who, 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 who fear him, on those whose hope is in, is in his unfailing love. To deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice. For we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love be, be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. In you. Proverbs chapter 9. Verses 1 to 6, Proverbs chapter 9. Proverbs chapter 9, verses 1 to 6, 1 to 6. Invitations of wisdom and folly. Wisdom has built a house, 
She has set up its seven pillars. She has prepared her meat and mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has sent out her servants, and she calls from the highest point of the city. Let all who are simple come to come to my house. To those who have no sense, she says, "Come, eat my food and drink the wine I have. I am mixed. Leave your." Leave your leave leave your simple ways, and you will and you will live. Walk in the way of insight, of insight. Okay, that's all. Bye for now.